So why do some struggle going from a rack to a vivarium and then some do fine? Well, that's because there's so many different variables in how an individual snake adapts. So it's all to do with how the individual snake, what is experienced, its genetics, and then, like I said, its stress coping style. Some may have more initially to work with than others and what they've got going on up there based on, based on their past experiences, neural pathways, and learning opportunities. So I've got an example here of a hypothetical of two breeders. Now, breeder one and breeder two keep exactly the same way. They keep in a rack. That rack is the same brand, same dimensions, everything. Same shavings, same water bowl, same, temp same temperatures. The whole thing is identical. The difference between the two is how the breeders operate. Now, consciously, they're thinking they do the exact same thing. They keep the exact same way. Subconsciously, the way they work is entirely different. So breeder one, he opens his rack. He pulls the water bowl out. He shuts the rack, and then he goes and cleaning. Then he puts it back in and shuts it. Breeder 2 actually opens the rack. He pulls the water bowl out. He's cleaning it. He just leaves it open. He's pottering around, playing in the bang, and he's cleaning and whatnot. And then he goes and takes it back into the rack. During this time, the Royal may have actually been taking information, even come forward, sit on the edge, and he's watching what's going on. I don't know if any of you have ever used racks, and you've seen this, where the Royal actually comes forward after time, and is like watching you, and you have to actually get them to go back in to shut it. So that happens, and when they're doing a full service of the tray, maybe they like need to do a full clean because of after feeding, Breeder 1 opens it, takes the snake, puts it in an empty rack drawer, and then serves the enclosure. Breeder 2 takes the snake out, puts it on a table where he's got things like dust pans, spray bottles, all his equipment, loads of different things, and then he leaves the snake as he's doing his thing, and he's cleaning the enclosure, he's cleaning the rack, sorry, and that snake is just rolling the table. That, that snake is experiencing new items that change each time. They're experiencing new tastes, new smells, new textures, new everything. Now, what is something that is novel and new to them? Enrichment. So they have a different table each time, and they have the time to adjust and actually explore this table. Now, depending on how much he faffs around and how long it takes to actually clean, clean the rack, depends on how long he actually gets to be on the table. But Breeder 1 works in silence, and then Breeder 2 plays music. Now, I don't know if you saw recently the study that came out that said that snakes can hear airborne noises. So if snakes can hear, that is a thing. And then Breeder 1 pulls the tray out, closes it when he's done, I don't know how many times you've seen someone, they go about their way, they get so fast at what they're doing, they're just, just doing their thing. <laughs> and then breeder one slowly opens it, the water's not sloshing, slowly closes it. And then you can see from this example that consciously they're keeping the exact same way and their racks look identical, but the way they operate is entirely different. I mean, the amount of information that these snakes between these two populations of these breeders, what they're experiencing, their learning opportunities is entirely different. The neural pathways that will be strengthening and efficient and being more, made more efficient in response to different stimulus will be a myriad of different variables on breeder two compared to breeder one. Now, when we make this more extreme and we say that one rack breeder keeps in a translucent tray rather than an opaque, then you can see suddenly that how many variables start coming out into this. So there's so many different variables that you can even come up with that play a role in how many learning experiences a snake can have, even though everyone says, oh yeah, I keep in a rack. We're talking generally about something that is actually quite variable. Again, it's not the snakes, all of it is us. It's our own ability to interpret the situation. 